This off the revolution, why you acting so scared? I put the pistol right up in your face, I don't care. I grew up in the gutter, so gutter, no fair. Yo, let's go and put a fist up in the air, right there. Yeah, let's stop the revolution, why you acting so scared? I put the pistol right up in your face, I don't care. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Iowa TV, where we talk all these conspiracy. I am your host, Willie Wilshire. Let's get started. All right, so I wanted to talk about coronavirus conspiracies. So there's one that's been floating out in the uh, internet right now. I don't know if you guys seen it. It's uh, that this whole coronavirus thing is just a cover up for the feds going out after uh, celebrities, people in high, in high places, high profile people, uh, politicians, um, and arresting them for, uh, you know, for having like a sex trafficking ring. Um, a lot of them, you know, like for example, like the, uh, the Catholic uh, priests, right? They have a, like a whole ring, man, but like, little kids and stuff, they be doing their rituals, they be going crazy. Um, so like a lot of people in power, man, like you might not think about it, but a lot of them um, are involved in a lot of uh, like these sex rings, man, where like underage uh, kids and they, they do all kinds of rituals and things with them. So uh, one of the conspiracies floating out there right now is that this whole cor coronavirus thing is just, a, it's just a facade, you know, just a cover up. Uh, and there's mass arrests going on around the world. Um, so they have a choice of whether they could uh, say, I was arrested or I'm just sick with coronavirus and they, they get to keep their, their, their reputation intact. Um, so that's one of the conspiracies going, out, going around right now. Um, right, so there's a lot of conspiracies going out there right now, but the one I want to talk about, the main one, is um, the New World Order uh, conspiracy. So there's uh, this conspiracy where People of power, you know, like top politicians, uh, people in the military, uh, titans of industry, uh, they all get together and they decide international policy. For example, they have groups like the Bilderbergers, the Round Table, Council of Foreign Relations, through the secret societies like the Masons. Um, there's, they have so many ways where they meet and they, and they push their policies that they want around the world. Um, so they have one policy that they've been working on where they want to reduce the population, right, by 10% uh, just to make it more manageable. So the coronavirus could be uh, one of these ways where they actually are thinning the herd, right, getting rid of a lot of elderly people so they don't have to pay them, you know, like retirement, social security, which is, that's already bankrupt. So this goes back to like uh, ancient uh, mystery schools all the way back in Egypt, Babylon, um, where you know, people, uh, they, they would get to, they would form these uh, secret societies and those secret societies have survived to this day um, in the form of, you know, like the Masons, for example. Um, and now the Masons, um, they have a lot of people in, in high positions of power. For example, most of our presidents have been Freemasons, high ranking Freemasons. Um, a lot of Masons, they don't, um, they won't be a part of the, the whole conspiracy. For example, uh, there's three, three uh, for example, there's uh, the Blue Lodges, which is only three degrees, apprenticeship, fellow Mason, master Mason. Uh, the most majority of Masons are, are fall within that category. Uh, so, you know, they're, they're, they don't really know what's going on. But once you go above that, there's, it continues to 33 degrees in the, in the Scottish Rite. And you get another 13 degrees with the York Rite. Uh, so those are the Masons, the high-ranking ones that... Uh, will become part of this global conspiracy to control the world. Uh, so the coronavirus um, could be a way uh, for the elite to um, thin the herd. Um, and the whole, their whole uh, goal is just to uh, make it more manageable for them to manage the world, right? They want a one world government, one world army, one world military, one world currency. Um, so by thinning the herd and getting rid of undesirables or, you know, their but then in the herd, they're able to implement their plan more easier. Um, so there's something called, David Ike talks about this a lot, uh, something called problem reaction solution, right? Where um, uh, the elite, they'll create a problem and they already, and they'll know how we react. You know, they study, they study our psychology, they know how we're gonna react to things. So they already know what the reaction is gonna be. And then they already have their solution set on the side where they know how we're gonna react and what we're gonna ask for. Uh, so a classic example, a textbook example is 9-11, right? Where they created a problem of terrorism 
and then they created the reaction in us, which was fear, uh, hate, being scared. Um, so we, we rushed to the government and, asked, and um, asked them to do something about it. And they already had their, their solution, which was uh, pass uh, laws like the Patriot Act, more surveillance, uh, beef up the military. Um, so they create all these scenarios, uh, like false flag scenarios, uh, to get us all riled up and to move in a certain direction. And they do it step by step. They can't do it all the way. Like, all right, everybody wake up tomorrow, we all get chipped. They got to do it in steps, you know, like 9-11. Now with the coronavirus thing, like people are scared again. So again, running to the government, um, they might institute martial law, which actually um, a couple of days ago, you saw the, uh, the uh, National Res uh, Reserve already. Uh, the National Guard, right, you saw the National Guard moving into cities. Uh, there was, uh, it, was, it moved, you saw like hundreds of tanks moving into downtown. And all see when, when they're asked about it, they just say that they're like, it was like a convoy coming back from uh, overseas and they're just going back to the bases. But um, I lived in LA for over 30 years and I've never seen that ever before in my life. This is the first time and I don't think, I don't believe in coincidences. So. I believe obviously they're here because of the virus and they probably expect, um, you know, mass uprisings, riots, food shortages, um, the hospitals are already like over, or over capacity. So I'm sure they expect a lot of uh, massive unrest coming soon. So they're just getting ready. And they've also had this planned out for, uh, for years, you know, they, um, they actually had a, um, a report, like a game, a war game on this, uh, uh, with the exact same scenarios with the where a virus comes out of china and spreads across the world um and it's exactly printing out the same way that that report came out um which is funny because also going back to 9 11 they had um they were playing war games the exact moment that 9 11 was happening you know so this is just another textbook move of the elite they've done this before um, they're pros they know what they know how to move us into the direction that they want um so i'll I think coronavirus could be part of their plan um, to move us towards a one world government, uh, you know, already. Um, this is going to cause a lot of, obviously, a lot of economic unrest. Um, it's going to wipe out uh, the, the poor are going to get poor. It's going to wipe out the middle class, small business owners. So in the end, it's only going to be big corporations that are too big to fail and which obviously are, are owned and ran by the elite. They're the ones going to survive. Um, and everything's going to be consolidated more into their hands. Um, also, uh, this sets the stage for also a, a one world currency. Um, we live in a global society where all the economics or international trade, everything's um, linked together now. And throughout, throughout our modern history, the dollar has been the, uh, the reserve currency of the world. Um, but now with these trillions of dollars bailouts, like the biggest bailouts in, uh, in U.S. history, bigger than 2008, um, this is going to obviously cause hyperinflation in the long run. Um, the Federal Reserve, um, the Federal Reserve Bank, which is neither federal and, and, doesn't, and doesn't have reserves, it's just money that they print out of thin air, not backed by gold or any physical asset. Uh, they cannot keep printing money at this pace, it's like monopoly money. Um, it only has so much power as we believe in it. But there's gonna come a time where it's just gonna be worthless. You know, we've seen it before with Zimbabwe, their dollars, they were printing, tr like it's not even worth to print money anymore. Uh, you've seen it in Germany after World War One, where they just print, they were printing uh, huge amounts of money just to pay all their debts and it causes hyperinflation uh, in the long run. Um, there's different, uh, uh, waves that come like deflation, inflation, and then it leads to hyperinflation. Um, so obviously, the way one of the ways you can protect yourself from this hyperinflation is obviously by investing your money now before it loses more value. You want to buy gold, uh, gold, silver is very undervalued. You want to go into cryptocurrencies, buy Bitcoin. Uh, you know the top maybe like the top five or top ten cryptos and just diversify your portfolio. Uh, you want to hold. You want to hold assets that'll that'll hold the purchasing power of your money. Um, but anyways, this whole coronavirus thing is causing a whole uh, global economic depression, which sets the stage for them to uh, devalue the dollar, 
And once the dollar is devalued and taken out of the, it, it stops being the, the reserve currency of the world, then it sets the stage to set something like a digital dollar or a basket. Uh, they have it planned. They know what they want to do, but they'll probably have something like, they'll, eventually they'll just want to give us like a one world currency. And um, they might even pass laws where we can't own, own gold, we can't own crypto, we can't own other forms of currency and money, uh, just whatever the, the state uh, decides it, what money is or will be. And in the long run, we might even have to be chipped, right? We might have to get vaccinated for the virus. That sets the stage for us to get chipped easily. Uh, without that chip, you can't, really, you, can't, you can't receive those stimulus packages uh, that they'll be releasing. Obviously, obviously with nobody working, um, we're going to be at the mercy of the government to, uh, so that we could eat, pay our bills, you know, so, uh, people could easily, uh, will easily be led into getting a, a form of chip where they have to, uh, they have to get it in order for them to get, to receive their, their stimulus money package, uh, um, UBI, universal basic income, whatever they want to set up. It'll be a way for them to have us controlled more economically. Uh, we'll be fearful. We can't go outside anymore. Uh, we'll have to, we'll need like permits for people that they're already trying to do this in, in England and the UK where people that already recovered from the coronavirus, you get a permit so you can go outside and, and work. So we could be looking at the future. This is just a stage. It's like a test run, you know, and then it sets the stage for future generations to come. Like I still remember, um, I still remember being free. Like where I could walk outside and everything was. I didn't have to worry about a virus, right? I could walk outside, um, say what I want at the time. But now with the kids being born, now they'll be born into this world where, like, you gotta be quarantined. You can't go outside. There's a virus going on. Uh, there's economic recessions and depressions going on. Uh, so it's just it just elevates the the, the level a little bit higher, um, but I do believe this is one of the the ways they're going to be pushing the new world order agenda, uh, just spreading more fear, more havoc, um, consolidating their power into into uh, yeah they'll be consolidating their power, and you know uh, once once we're out of this this quarantine. I, which I believe will come in waves, like in waves, right? We'll have a couple months in quarantine. We come out. Uh, once the numbers, once the curve is comes down, then we'll we'll be able to go back to work. There's always going to be somebody out there that's still infected, end up infecting us all. We got to go back in quarantine, and there's just going to be these like waves, you know. And um, so obviously, uh, people are going to get scared and demand the government to do more, um, which I believe they didn't. They didn't do enough. For example, you had Trump uh, that took forever to 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 take this seriously, you know. And I don't believe people in, in power are stupid, you know. Trump could be stupid, but the people behind him pulling the strings are not. They have this all planned, and they they play presidents and people in in power as dummies, you know. They do they're dupes, and they just do what they're told, or even if they don't know, they're being used. They're that elite use them in, in a certain way. Um, so I feel now uh, the masses are, gonna, the citizens will be scared. They'll demand the government to do more. So after this uh, COVID-19 um, virus is over, um, all the laws that they pass to, uh, to make sure this doesn't happen again, will remain in place, you know. Uh, they might scale a little bit back, but just like in 9 11 there'll be patriot acts and things of that nature uh, bills of that nature laws of that nature that will uh, forever solidify the new world that we will live in uh, post covid 19. um there'll be for example now we're gonna get we're, we'll, we'll get used to being in quarantine uh we might get used to seeing being under martial law where, where the army patrols the streets uh make sure uh, people obey their curfew if you're out you need a permit uh, you want to get your money from the government, you, you need a chip. Um, so uh, we're heading in that direction. And this is, I believe, it's one step to get us in that direction, one world government. Um, also, you, you're going to see a lot of uh, countries, like nations, that are going to, uh, just the way you saw people hoarding like toilet paper and stuff like that, 
Like you'll see countries hoarding their own uh, resources, whatever they produce. If a country produces uh, corn or produces uh, whatever it is that, that they do, uh, instead of exporting, they're going to want to keep it so they could feed their own citizens. Um, and that's just, you're looking at like a 1984, like oral type of dystopian society where uh, you're, you're able to divide the world uh, between, you know, we won't be able to really travel as much, um, but the people in power in the, uh, around the, uh, of those nations um, makes it easier for them to control us all because now we can't even communicate with each other. We're scared of each other. Uh, like, we're scared even of hugging people. Now we have to be six feet apart. Like, that's crazy, right? Like, um, this is the new mentality that we're being trained with. Um, so, even after this is done, our, our psyches won't ever be the same. Uh, we'll always be a little bit scared. Like, is there a virus? Is something new is going to hit? Um, and again, there'll be these laws in place um, that we're going to get used to, you know, used to martial law, used to curfews, uh, maybe used to be moni monitored more for sure for, for our health. Um, we'll be tracked, like, through, um, we could get chips like, that track us if, if, if somebody is infected, we got to know where they are, right? Um, so this is how they do it. They make it, uh, they push their agenda in ways that seem that is good for us, but it's really good for them in the long run because they know where, where they're heading. And once you're able to see their whole game plan, you're able to see where they're heading, which is a one world government. Um, then you're able to know, you're able to see these moves that they're making, like chess moves, you know? Um, so, so I believe, yeah, that's the main cons conspiracy theory. Um, that they're pushing with a uh, coronavirus and it's already out of control you can see it's over a million cases around the world and the united states like uh, like we hopped over china we hopped over italy hopped over all the countries we're number one now with over uh close to 300,000 now i think cases uh deaths is piling up and um yeah you have a lot of governors that just want to go back to work too some governors that are closing down uh, the states like New York, Cali, you know, they they have their at stay at home orders. Uh, but you still have to see a lot of people walking outside. Um, they're not taking it seriously, and these numbers are just piling up every day. Like they double, triple, it's crazy. Um, so this is going to go into the millions, and this is just a start. It's going to get way crazier than it is, and we got to be ready for it. Uh, for sure, the stock market is going to tumble, crash. Uh, we, we've been living in so many bubbles like real estate bubble uh, it's, it's crazy the prices like just here in LA like you can't even buy a house anymore like the bubble is so inflated like it needs to come down um, same thing with the stock market has been pushed up by a quantitative easing by the Federal Reserve and now the Federal Reserve um, they're gonna have infinite quantitative easing which means that they're just gonna print money infinitely like you can't do that that's gonna create hyperinflation and uh, there's there is one way where you could create money uh, and not pay int pay interest back, right? For example, when we borrow money from the Fed, we have to pay them back the, the principal plus interest. So you're never you're never able to get out of debt, and debt is just another way where they keep us, you know. Debt is just another way where they could control us. Um, but one, one of the ways that we could create money interest-free is just print our own. The government needs to print, the treasury needs to print their own money or coin their own money um, interest-free. Like, there's no, there's no reason why we have to go to another private institution and have them print money for us and we have to pay them interest back. Like, that's just stupid. Um, or we could just print it ourselves, you know? Um, obviously, back in... in uh, in business school, I brought this up. I, had, I was taking a banking class and I brought this up to the professor. Like, I was like, why don't we print our own notes, right? Like, Abraham Lincoln did it with the greenbacks. He got assassinated. Uh, George Washington, back in the days, they did it with the, uh, they had the continental script uh, so they could pay for the, for the wars. Um, we had it, um, JFK wanted to do, I think, do the same, print their own money. He got killed. Um, so obviously the federal, the federal, these banksters that, global banks that uh, reserve, 
the global um, yeah these global like Federal Reserve banks around the world they obviously want to have a monopoly on money they don't want a states printing their own money because when you do that that creates a lot of um, prosperity like you create enough money um, to meet everybody's needs not not you don't go overboard and create hyperinflation obviously um, but that's just when you create money without where well, we don't have to pay interest back uh, you're not put, putting people in debt and if you're not in debt you're not a slave uh, so you're free obviously but uh, the federal federal banks around the world they don't want that you know they want to control us so they want to keep us in debt keep us as slaves um, you control the money you control the world basically um, so yeah I think we covered a lot of things uh, just the first episode of IOTV and I hope to do some more and we'll could keep continue talking about different conspiracies every episode so uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one and hit the subscribe button the like button shoot me some comments I'll, I'll respond to them um, yeah I'll try to respond to all the comments and yeah let me know what conspiracy you guys will want me to cover next all right peace Oh, and I also want to talk about, uh, I think just like yesterday, <clears throat> there was a, yeah, just the other, like yesterday, there was a, a train engineer that he tried to ram his train into the, the ship Mercy that's docked on the port of Los Angeles. Um, so it just, the, the article says he was going full speed, tried to derail, derail the train and crash it into the ship. And then, uh, so he, he, he got off the tracks, skidded, uh, he didn't hit the train he was like 250 yards away tried to run out the cops got him um, and they questioned him like why what are you doing and he said that he wanted to uh he wanted to bring awareness to the ship because he believed there was a military takeover like the ship it's not what it seems uh, they say it's a hospital ship but again it's the military you know the military they all they all they always do experiments on the on the citizens so who knows it might be he might know more than what he's yet letting on um, again, he's a train engineer, um, and I don't think you're just gonna do that, derail the train and try to crash into a ship, a military ship for no reason. There has to be a reason, right? That you're gonna risk your freedom and your life to do this. And yeah, he said he wanted to bring awareness uh, to the military takeover that's going on. And I believe, yeah, this is the first step. This is how they get. This is how they get the citizens um, used to seeing the military patrolling the streets. Like when I was in Guatemala, I would see uh, you had the military out on the streets with their, you know, with their ARs, you know, just patrolling, and it was just normal. But here, it's not normal. Obviously, we don't. We, I could walk to a 7-Eleven. I'm not going to see a a military guy like armed patrolling the streets. But now, uh, with the virus, it just it sets that precedent where uh, we'll get used to seeing the military. Like we'll want the military to keep people inside, you know, so the virus doesn't spread. So we'll ask for it. And again, that's problem reaction solution. Um, so, you know, he could that got that engineer that tried to crash into the ship could be onto something here. That's another conspiracy. Um, you know, that, which which is the uh, just martial law. They want to have us in FEMA camps, which obviously they're already, they're already building the camps. They've had the camps. They've had uh, millions of coffins already set up around the nation. Like they were waiting for an event like this to happen. They they had it planned out already for for years. You know. Um, so that is interesting. Uh, you guys should Google that article up. Article up. Um, yeah, train engineer tries to crash train into the uh, the military U.S. military ship uh, Mercy. Um, but yeah, crazy.